the most enlightened here, superstitions such as you mentioned, have been refuted by science. I am absolutely certain this exists. I believe what I see with my own eyes. Faith, Dr. Van Helsing. Faith. Faith is the amazing faculty of man which enables us to believe things which we know to be untrue. This is where I saw Jesus telling me something that you can watch in my uh, ghost stories, Jesus encounters video in the description below. He was in my room, so. I don't believe in science. All those bits and molecules no one's ever seen. I trust eyes and heart alone. Here's just where I saw Mother Mary in the sky in the clouds. She was looked just like a ghost, like white light. It was like above, right here somewhere in this area. It wasn't her just made up of clouds. It wasn't just clouds. It was actually the a vision and stuff like I get, you know, when I do psychic readings, which I have evidence on my channel. So this story might not sound so ridiculous and kooky but like that's all i can just say this existed and she was in a chariot like in a chariot you know like horses and stuff which is really weird because i don't know and i looked it up about stuff like was mary ever in a chariot and all that stuff and i don't know if i found anything but i'm still looking so oh well just wanted to show you the clip up in that sky right here and we came all the way down here just to show you this whoopee it is what it is. And that's the story. Yeah, she had, she just looked really pretty, just like the Mary that everyone sees. And then I have another clip of where I saw her again. I suppose it was her. I don't have no proof or evidence it was, but I do believe that that's what it is. And I don't just believe in things. I want confirm any confirmation and facts. I'm even skeptical of myself, but if you can see my psychic evidence, I do have these psychic abilities and I do see spirits. I can communicate with them and I have seen Jesus and stuff and I'm going to show you those clips, I guess, um, where the locations where I seen them. Yeah, so it was up here and I'll show you a clip of a picture. She was in the hallway like this. Doing this, like the little, little, little like, commercial and this. That's how I saw her. I was looking out in the hallway like this. The, this side view and this heat energy went in my head while she was right there. She looked just like Mary, like the old the light chick, just standing there like a pure ghost looking thing like this. You could feel it and everything. That's where I had encounters with Mary or somebody who looked like it and her face was all glowing. You couldn't see any eyes. It was just pure like white, you know? 
so you could see the shape, you know, and then the thing over our head and everything. And that's what happened. Okay, this is it. This is the street where I saw Jesus. And here's the side. Here's where I'm coming up to the four-way stop sign. Hello, there was a stop sign. I totally paused. Um, where I saw Jesus. Okay, yeah. Here it is. Stop way. Four-way stop light. Right here it is. I saw Jesus floating from the sky over here. If you can see wherever... And, uh, finally found it. And this is it. This is seriously it. This is where I saw Jesus. Jesus' spirit came to me just like, um, Glinda from uh, The Wizard of Oz. He had a plasma bubble aura. It was a living aura. Of Jesus Christ or Jesus you know um, and he had electricity in his aura like you know white electricity and you just know that plasma can um, friction some type of um, uh, electricity uh, static electricity or something and it came just like this Like a plasma aura. It looks clear and round, you know, like that. And he was like, I'm here to save Selena, which is my Libra girl, Libra Capricorn rising moon and cancer girlfriend sitting right next to me. And uh, as I was telling her the story about how I saw Jesus before other places, like at this one house. In the bedroom anyways I've got the stories and I'll put it in the description below but these are just the locate clips of the locations yeah I, I figured life goes by so fast if you don't write stuff down it just gets lost and I want to remember done every last bagel down to every last everything I do with you In that corner, that's where I saw you. Oh yeah, and go ahead and tell your story, that even if you're having a mental breakdown and you're hallucinating or something, tell it like it is, big fucking deal. Um, well, because, you know, when you don't have a person there to confirm that you're actually seeing something, don't assume that it's true, but, you know, like, um, I have evidence and confirmation through other people, so, like my psychic readings that I record, so there you go, and, and my um, ghost stories are true, but you know, I'd have to come up with some more facts, like some witnesses, which I have witnesses for a demon that uh, I seen, hello? 
So I got to witness on that, like, a long time years later. But at least I got that and shit. And, um, you know, there's all the people in the world. Got to get a hold of them. But they're all moved away when I get the most uh, um, experiences with. Which is just sad that that has to happen. I mean, you would think that those people would stay in your life forever when you have an experience like that, like seeing, you know, seeing any kind of spirit or doing any second ring. But, you know, they might still be there from the internet, barely talk to them. Or, but, um, it's just fucked up how that is, which you sh if you have a friend, you should be friends with them forever. But, you know, people are dumbasses and they're not loyal. They don't even know how to be. And that's just fucking retarded. Life just goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on. And reality exists without you. Without, with or without you. It is what it is. But yeah, that's a rant of stuff. Blah, 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 blah. blah. So, good luck. Don't be spreading lies about your fucking bullshit experience unless you have some evidence or some psychic evidence at least. All there is out there is freaking philosophy and philosophy can change any time in your thoughts. So come up with some experiences and some evidence. I mean, this is some just me documenting stuff. Doesn't mean that's evidence, but I do have evidence in this realm of channel. So go look at that. Decide for yourself. Am I a really good guesser? Or am I actually fucking psychic? Whoopie fucking do. Either way, it's my experience and you can't change it. So, down with that. It's duh, I'm psychic. And it's all for free. Because the experience itself is amazing. Duh. I've done way better psychic readings before and that's why I have all those ghost stories. About my true stories. And stuff. Um, you can come up with some witnesses, too. Yeah, that's what y'all need to do. Come up with some facts. I'll consider your bullshit, but that's what I mean. Like, I'm gonna believe you. But, you know, it'd be nice to hear stories, I guess. Whatever's clever. Good luck. I just want to put this in the documentary there. And, you know, I could make up way better stories than that if I was fucking lying. But I'm not lying, so... I can't remember everything, so I can only say a few things that I remember about everything. That's why, exactly why I want to record everything that I do and doing now. I wish so much that I record everything that I did before. I had the idea of recording everything before, but I was like delusional thinking that, oh, this is going to turn into something. I probably don't have to record it. Nope, it doesn't, didn't turn into nothing. And even if when I recorded it and try to share it and show it around, no one gives a fuck but me and... <sighs> Yeah, well, I give a fuck, so it's the only one I can do is up to me to get to give a fuck. What be freaking do? If that makes any sense, if it doesn't, whatever. I'm just documenting this like much more of my diaries. Or cash. There she goes. Here's my evidence. But uh, yeah, she's my true stories. There she go. Them days on my channel. Go watch it. Go look at subscribe or something that people say. Mm, never really beg for people to fucking. Donate to my Patreon, which I don't have, can have, I don't even know how to have it, if any, which is retarded, because I'm not a bum, but people get it, get donated to, for no reason, just, I don't even know. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, in the sky, you know, when I saw Mary and, and, um, on a, um, chariot, yeah, with the horses and stuff? She get she, she goes, she was like up there and she's like, there's Dashton. There's Dashton. So she knows my name. Hell yes. So that's what she literally said. And there was none more. I don't know fuck anything else. But, you know, like I said, I didn't get that confirmed. I just heard it and saw it randomly and I was on my way into that building because I had to do stuff there and um weird story that didn't even make a big story I mean hello I'm not fucking making shit up I'm just telling you all that I know putting it in documentary 
on here because I want to remember everything and I just want it all on here. Just be like, yeah, this is that. And this is when I saw this and that. And it's, and it's, it's true. And I have a picture of me when I did see, I guess it was Mother Mary, um, which is Jesus' mother again in the hallway, which I showed you or showing you after this clip. Um, but I didn't hear her say anything, and she looked like the oil of the lay chick, you know, in the hallway. She's going with her hair, uh, I mean, with her, um, um, blanket thing over her head, whatever the hell that is, that nun-looking thing. And, um, white. She was all white, just all white. You couldn't tell what color her eyes were or anything. I mean, she was just the shape, no face form, nothing, just all white with the um, gown thing over her head, the nun looking thing, just all white. And um, But in the sky, you could tell she had facial features and stuff. It looked exactly like Mary, the Mother Mary person, you know, that they should say. But you couldn't tell what color her eyes were or anything, but I did see Jesus and you could totally tell before and all those other stuff. But in the links below, the description of me seeing Jesus and all that stuff is in there. So the whole full story with visuals. Okay, so, um, yeah, um, Mother Mary in the sky, for real. She looked just like this exactly, but not with the red, uh, string on it that I just put there for blood, for fun. Um, but she looked just like this with the, everything, exactly. Mother Mary, okay? Okay, and, um, so, that's my story, and, which is not a good story, but it's, these are clips. Um, I wonder what else I'm leaving out. And those are the two times I've seen Mother Mary, or some spirit that looked like her, exactly like her, reminding me of her. But in the hallway, this light, beam of light came, and it filled in my head, and it felt really good, and she was just in the hallway. It was awesome, okay. You know, okay. Even if I saw Mary and Jesus and all the angels and all the spirits I've communicated with, life still sucks and I haven't seen a physical miracle. Life still goes on, boring as fuck and uh, or fun as fuck, whatever, continues. Nothing that great um, besides that happens. And then, well, I, the only thing that spirits can do is just comfort us and love us or not and communicate with us. That's about it. That's all we can do, too. That's all I freaking figure. That's what I experienced. yippee ki -yay, everything just exists. It's not like they can do anything but exist. Like you and me. Hippie skippy doodle all day.